put our hands together for the very hard-working CEO of Miss Intercontinentals. I'll welcome Mr. Deda Tersis. Gentlemen, welcome to the this Intercontinental Press Meeting. Yeah. He was actually very right when he said that uh, the very hard working in this, I can tell you this is hard work. <laughs> For a lot of uh, people, it, everything looks so easy and uh, after three weeks for the two hour show, this time what we spent over the year, all this coordination, <coughs> this is actually something what, what makes it difficult, not only for us, for everybody. But I can tell you the result will be worth it. Wait just until January 26. Well, first of all, um, I would like to welcome you on behalf of the World Peace Intercontinental Organization and of the President, Mr. Manu Shabani. Um, I'm the CEO for Europe and responsible for business development. And, um, well, for one of the contestants on January 26, for sure, the dream come true. And she will be in the footsteps of many, let's say, famous contestants we have had in the past. For example, 97, the Indian winner, Lara Dutta, who is a famous Bollywood star nowadays. Or when we go back to the 90s, 93, Verona Felbush, she is, after her marriage, her name is Verona Bode, for the ones who would like to Google. After she won in 93 in Germany, this was in a, in a, in a very nice town, in a tourism town in South Germany. After this, she became a television show. And after, or during her television show, she got offers as a commercial model with the value of one million US dollar per contract. And I can tell you, she signed a lot of contracts. Or, let's say, 94, Kimberly and Myers from the United States, she was starring in Melrose Place. Or, uh, recently, 98, for example, also, we had a winner from Brazil, her name was uh, Janaina Bernhauser. She was living in Rio de Janeiro and after she spent one year in Germany to fulfill her duties, she then stayed in Germany and she became an actress. She was making three records with a famous producer, Leslie Mandoki, who was working with Lyle Ritchie, with Phil Collins and with some others. And she's still today active on television and she has an on-television show. So, this is a big chance for every contestant, and uh, I'm glad that today we are in the, cap the pageant capital of the world in Manila. And this is for us very special because we always have the dream to come here one day. And this is only possible because of one special person who was traveling around the world last year when we had a show in Egypt. And uh, it was so funny because I met her husband the night before when I went out to go to the venue, there was a nice gentleman coming out of the golf cart of the resort with two flags, Japanese flags. And I said, you must be the, the father of uh, Kumi. He said, yes, I am. I said, okay, we're going to see your daughter later, maybe we can have a check. But anyway, what I wanted to say, next morning we were shortly for departure and then a woman came rushing into the lobby. Hello, may I introduce myself? I'm Joanna Miyamai, I would like to talk to you about business. So I said, okay, we have a little time because my, my plane is leaving. So we were sitting together and we had exactly two hours to talk about the idea that I saw very quickly that we shared the same vision. That beauty can change the world. That we do something together what, what, is, what is nice, not only for young talented girls who are looking for a chance nowadays in life. I mean, you all are aware that the world is not in the best condition. There's so many conflicts. But if you see that the girls under each other, they are very in a harmony. They don't have problems. And this is something what, what, what helps us. It proves us that we are right in doing something also for the young generation. So I would like to say a special thank you to Miss uh, Joanna Miyamai and her beautiful daughter, Ruby, to bring us here. Because without you, we would not be here. 